morning, everybody. It's been a wonderful morning so far. It's afternoon now, so it's been a wonderful morning. We went for massages. Kevin, not Kevin, Megan, Brian, and I. I don't do massage. He should. He would fall in love. I'm telling you, he would. And now we're finishing up our sushi lunch. And, uh, and then we're going to go home. Everybody say hello to Megan. Hello to Megan. Hello. Everybody's relaxed. Right <laughs> yeah. Our masseuses were really good. And it was just really, really relaxed. All right. So we're going to go home and we're going to watch... Which one of the Star Wars movies? Uh, the, the New Hope, episode four, which was the first one. Okay. We're going to watch that one. And then we may go to the movies to see Rogue One. Yep. Yep. <coughs> that would be cool. So our plans kind of changed just a little bit. Apparently, we're going to go to the movies and see Rogue One first, and then we're going to come back home and watch The New Hope. Because right? they misunderstood me. So, that's the story. We're sticking to it this time. We're in the car. So, and we didn't misunderstand you. You told us I the wrong not. way. Good angel. <laughs> 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 can, can you, can you <coughs> turn it around so you can see if you can see her? There's Angel looking at us as we're going Hi, away. <laughs> oh, she's howling. <laughs> that is a manatee. Very realistic looking manatee. And Megan's thinking about selling these? Yes. Don't ask the price because I don't know how much they would be yet. It's, it's all hand done. It's all hand done. It is hand washable, not machine washable, but it is hand washable. Okay. Hi, guys. So we are saying goodbye to Megan and Brian. Yes, they are leaving us, but we had a fantastic time while they were here. We went and saw Rogue One, or should I say, they saw Rogue One. I slept. <laughs> Pay for a movie and I fall asleep. My darling daughter, I'm going to miss her so, so much. This is creepy. <laughs> <laughs> We're in night vision. That's why it looks so di di or different. She Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we never really got to talk much about on, on here about what's going on. You're you're close to getting what degree? Bachelor's in science. Okay, and then your next one would be? Well, I'd be applying to vet school, and then I'd be getting my DVM. DVM, and then you That's were That's Doctorate also... of Veterinary Medicine, in case anyone didn't know. I didn't know. And then <laughs> you were actually talking about the possibility of PhD. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Because veterinary school is supposed to be insane on its own, so doing a PhD at the same time could be craziness. So, yeah. But, everybody, my lovely daughter, once again, pulled straight A's. I have to brag. You guys know me. I have to brag about my baby girl. I know you got there safe. Okay. Okay. I know I'm a pain in the butt. I do the same thing when people leave. Okay. And Daddy and Patty asked me to do the same thing too. It's Maybe you say oops. Thing. Yeah, usually like a couple hours after I get there. Sorry! <laughs> Just remembered, my bad. Well, let me go around and hug Brian goodbye. Bye, Kev! Oh my goodness! Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you guys for my Christmas gifts. You're welcome. I'm glad we could do it. Yeah. Alright, Kevin. See ya. See you later. Thanks, oh. man. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they're leaving, and then we're getting ready to head back up to Nikki and John. So, everybody, sad to say, Megan and Brian are on their way 
home or somewhere. back somewhere. <laughs> but it was fabulous to have her home for two full days and get to spend time with her. And um, we got to see Rogue One. Woohoo! Was it any good? <laughs> Val got to sleep through Rogue One. I was so just relaxed after the massage and then we had sushi and then we went to the movies and by that time I was just so mellow and so relaxed that I just put my head on Kevin's shoulder in the movie theater and I was out probably within the first what 15 minutes of the movie <laughs> yep and I even caught myself a couple of times sleeping like this I poked her a couple of times to try to see if I could get her away. <laughs> but I just was going to happen. No, there was no way he was going to be able to keep me awake. So. But anyway, what part I did see was good. <laughs> and now we are on our way back up to Nikki and John's um, because they are still in Minnesota. So back up to watch the house and the dogs and cats and lizards and turtles. Oh my! Critters. So that was very interesting. Yes, we have <laughs> such fun. Um, luckily, Nikki wasn't sleeping, but Iris was. Maybe. Well, did you did you tell about what happened already? I thought we filmed it, didn't no, we? No, we did not film it here. Oh, okay. Give it to me. So we got here around ten o'clock tonight. And there's this chirping sound coming from the dining area. So we start searching for this chirping sound. And there's a, um, a fire alarm sitting there. Looks like uh, it was taken off because maybe it was chirping. So I took the thing apart. And I still hear chirping. So I'm looking all over for what's chirping. And it sounds like it's coming from the alarm. So I go over to the alarm and hit cancel. Chirping still goes on. So finally, I uh, moved a uh, dresser and there's a, a carbon monoxide detector behind the dresser and that was chirping. So I unplugged it thinking that would stop it and it's still chirping. So I couldn't get it to stop chirping. There's no off switch. I couldn't get the, the batteries out of it, which I figured that were dead somehow. So I stuck it in the office, went to let Kenobi out, and set off the alarm. And it was loud. Throughout the neighborhood loud. And it's 12.30. By this time it's 12.30 back in Minnesota. And uh, I get on the phone and I start calling Nick. First I called John. And called Nikki. And I called Anita. And uh, everybody's saying, you know... What the heck did you do? I turned on the damn alarm, apparently. <laughs> and then I tried to open the door. I opened the door. <laughs> so, Nikki gets the phone call from the alarm company. They got that figured out. Actually, they Nikki thought she got that figured out. She had to have, or they, the police would have been here. No, she. the police called her back, and then she called them, and then oh. Anita got involved. And oh, so, anyway, I was on the phone with Nikki, and, well, the police called her. She gave them a code. I'm on the phone with her, and we're talking, and the alarm company calls her again. So she puts me on hold, and then she talks to the alarm company, and she says, um, the police are on the way to the house because I gave them the panic code and not the cancel code. I don't remember the cancel code. I just remembered the panic code. All right. So <laughs> she's like, no, trust me, trust me. They're, my house sitters and my dog sitters are at the house right now. I, there's no panic. Really, there's no panic. I'm trying to get a hold of John to find out what the, the cancel code is. John's not answering his phone. So I guess by that time, John te texts you. You didn't know that she gave the, the 
<laughs> wrong code. Right. And anyway, it all got mixed up, and John, I guess, got a hold of Anita, and Anita got a hold of the cops and canceled it and gave them the right code and everything. And yeah. So, and I'm sitting here, because Kevin had to run to the store, so I'm sitting here like, okay, the cops are going to show up, I'm going to get arrested, I don't know what to tell the cops, because Nikki doesn't know the code for me to give him any sort of code. <laughs> so anyway, that was our evening. <laughs> Never a dull moment with us, I tell you. We hope you liked a little bit of something that you saw today in our video. If you did, please give us a great big thumbs up, a like, a share, a comment. And we will see you guys all tomorrow. Ta-ta for now. Bye!